Today, I'm going to be going over exactly how to set up your trading view to get started. This is a little different, but a lot of you guys ask me what charting platform I use. It is trading view and it is the best charting platform overall, in my opinion. And even when I'm not actually trading directly through trading view, which I'll show you guys how to do, I'm using top step for my prop firm, which has trading view integrated anyway. So no matter what type of trading I'm doing, trading view is always involved for the very important utility stuff. To go into replay mode, which basically brings you back to whenever you want, essentially, at least on the higher time frames, it'll have that data. You can do this button up here, replay, and you select bar, okay? So you can replay mode, go back to this, then you can change the time frame, right? This is good for some back testing, some casual back testing. You change up the time frame and then you play it and you just kind of see how the candles progressed and moved. And it's very nice to have this ability to use replay mode because like I said, it allows you to back test. It allows you to kind of get some experience and, and really just experiment with stuff. Say you like accidentally pressed play right here and you're back testing something else. You can just select bar and boom, go back and you're back. And then to exit replay mode, you just click it again, click yes. Now, the other thing that's pretty interesting about replay mode, you can fake long and short. So it's in the top right or the top left. Why do I keep getting my directions confused? Like I'm a toddler. Top left, you can't see it right now, but you can click buy and sell when you're in replay mode. It takes no real money. And you can see that you can drag your TP and stop loss to literally back test this, which is fun in real time. Okay. So we're going to go candle by candle and it'll show you your profit and loss, unrealized, realized, whatever. And it's really nice because you can just use it to back test and look, boom, we hit our target. Yay. It doesn't actually show you your overall PL in replay trading, but if you're trading in paper trade mode in live, then it will show you your PL. So we're going to exit replay mode. I'm going to show you guys how to paper trade right now. So this is very useful to practice strategies if you don't have good experience yet. So you're going to click this little arrow at the bottom right, okay? And you're going to open it up. And then on the bottom left right here, you see paper trading as an option. Now, you also see a lot of other brokerages and futures brokers that you can link. But for now, let's go to paper trading, okay? So you're going to connect it and you're going to see your account balance, right? This is all fake money. I paper trade on here like once or twice just messing around. But what you're going to be able to do Back in the top left, right where we bought and sold in replay mode, say I wanted to go short right now. I could short this. Three contracts of ES, and I can set my take profit and my stop loss. This is a paper trade once again, but it allows you to get a hang of how to move futures and how to place orders within trading view. And it's very useful because like I just showed you, not only can you do paper trading, let's just close out of this position, right? So if you're trading futures, this is kind of what I focus on on my channel. So you can X out of the position, right? And it'll take all your whole bracket order off. But once you get in, like I said, you can set your take profit, your stop loss, and it'll automatically execute for you if it hits one of those lines first before you manually exit, okay? And if I wanted to exit just one, it'll shift everything for me. So say I want to sell one contract right here. I accidentally bought three, wanted to get two. I'll just go to quantity one. And since I bought, I'll sell one and notice how it changes all of them back to two. So this is just useful to know because if you're trading futures and you're linking, and we'll just exit this now. If you're linking any of these other options, you just log out of paper trading and then you can go and link other options. Okay. So you have trade abate, which is what I use when I'm not on top step as my live account with real money that I deposited, but you can also do Ninja Trader. You can do pretty much anything. Amp, Trade Station, they got all of it in here. And it's really nice because like I said, that exact type of graphic I just showed you on paper trading is what your real executions will start looking like directly through Trading View. And all you have to do is something like this. You literally just drag up this arrow, like I showed you guys, and then say I'm on Trade Evate, which I am. I click trade of eight and then you're going to have your login. Now I'm already logged in. I'm not actually going to open my account right now, but it'll save my info. And obviously I don't really care if you guys see my email because that's literally public information, but yeah, you can also log into a demo. So a live and a demo account on trade of eight, you can log into both and yeah, it's pretty nice. That's what I use. But once again, once you log into Tradeabate, which you just connect by logging in through this portal right here, which is very convenient. Once you connect that, 
your executions are going to look the exact same as what I just showed you when I went on trading view paper trading. Let's get into the aesthetics because a lot of people are interested in that. Whenever you're on the chart, you just right click your mouse and you can find the way to change your candlesticks, right? The colors, you can change it to whatever. Mine are green and gray right now, but you can do whatever. And then down in canvas, you can change your background color. You can also have a watermark. I have mine to full opacity right now. So, but if I turned it on, you'll see that we have the, you know, watermark ES1 futures. Okay. So that's the main aesthetic things you're going to want to be worried about. Obviously you can have text or whatever all across up here. You're going to see indicators and a lot of options. So the first thing is the type of candles you want to have. You can do bars. You can do candlestick. I don't know why you would do anything but candlestick, but some people are weird. But yeah, so you can change the type of candlestick and then indicators. Now, I don't use any. I really don't use any indicators, but you can use them. You just drop down this menu right here. And I have used RSI and volume before just out of curiosity to see higher time frame stuff on indices. But say I wanted to use EMA, right? So you put moving average exponential. And the nice thing about that is that you can star it. And so then no matter what, it'll show up here on this top list. So for those of you who like to use indicators, you can star them and never have to search them up every time. You can just kind of flip them on and then say I have that moving average exponential on now. I click this little drop down and I can trash it and get it off my screen with those buttons. Okay. So that's how to do the indicators. You can really look up any indicator. There's actually a ton Next, we're going to go to how to split screen. So as you can see, using this little thing up here, we just split our screen into two. So we have NQ futures on this side and ES futures on this side. So it's very useful, especially if you like to trade with SMTs as a confluence, which I sometimes do. So and you can have as many of these open at once as you want. Next, let's get into watch lists because we already went over this whole top bar. So like I said, you have your your button here. And then anytime you make a chart coloration layout, like I, like I do here, cause this is obviously custom colors, you can save it as a layout. Okay. So you just say, create new layout and whatever colors are on, it's going to create it and you can name it whatever and star it if you want. Next, let's go to watch list Cause this is very important. Okay. So you open watch lists. Now, how do you create a watch list? Will you click this? This is my futures watch list. I have ES, MES, MNQ, NQ, and then SPY and QQQ, even though those aren't futures, I like to watch them. You create new list right here. So this is if you want a watch list, if you want a new one, and this is what you do also if you have none. Now, once you make this watch list, you can just click this little plus button up here, add symbol to the watch list, and say we want to add NVIDIA or Tesla. You can just click these little plus buttons and boom, you're adding them all to the watch list. And look, just like that, you've got your watch list up. So just like that, you can create a watch list very easily for yourself. And that way you don't have to completely type in the ticker or future every time you are trying to look for something else. Now on the side, this is very important. We have everything you can draw and it's very self-explanatory. I don't need to tell you guys how to draw, but you can do anything with these. So the first thing, obviously you can change their color. You can put text on them. And so... If you just double click down here, right onto this trend line, you can say, look, say SMT and I'll change the text color so you guys can see. You can type anything on these trend lines. Same thing obviously goes for rays, vertical or horizontal rays. It also goes for lines, like anything you can type on, right? And so you'll see that you can put text high and we're going to make the text black and let's see. All right. And you'll just see it shows up right there. Okay. So that's very easy. And another thing I like to do, and we'll just go back to one screen. So another thing I like to do is make templates. So say you want to have a way to mark out an SMT instead of having to type it every time. Let's go write it right now. So you see it's SMT and you can add template, save as SMT. And then boom. So if I ever want to make a line like that again, and not have to type SMT, I just go back and click that template and it now says SMT. So that's very, that's a very good way to set it up. And the same thing works with all these. Now down here, you have your fib retracements, all your fib stuff. Um, I personally keep just the, the 0.5 and the one and the zero on my fib retracements because I use it to determine discount and premium of a range, but you guys can do whatever you want. Um, these you will need to modify, you know, it will turn out like a rainbow the first time you ever use it. So you can check, see if I check 0.38, 
it'll show up. As you guys can see, it just showed up. If I check 0.61, it shows up. So you can use whatever ones you want, but I use the 0.5, 1, and 0. Next, you're going to have just a lot of these useless patterns that I don't like. I don't use them. X, A, B, C, D, whatever. This is all the top right. Here you have your long and short markers. Then right here we have the brush, which the brush, I use it a lot just to circle things, to draw around. And then obviously down here, you can delete everything at once. So say I make like 50 different drawings. I can delete them all right here. 31 drawings that was. That was a quick speed run of drawing. But then obviously if you trade ICT, you know the fair value you got. You can also make them extend right or not. I like to make them extend right because that way I remember if they're from a long time ago. So you just go here, extend right, and you'll see it just goes all the way to the edge of your screen. And then you can also, with these fair value gaps, if you're drawing them out, because I trade ICT, so I'm drawing out fair value gaps all the time, you can make a middle line for consequent encroachment. Now, I don't typically use it actually, but you can. I know some people like to trade with consequent encroachment in mind. So that's that. That's all the drawing stuff. Um, there's more shapes down here, but they're all very self-explanatory. Then you can make text boxes, whatever, um, using this button right here. This is the six from the right drop down or the left drop down menu. You can also put emojis. I don't think I've ever done this in my life, but you can put emojis with, you just click right under the text box area, there's emojis. And next, this is very important. This is the measuring tool. So this just helps you measure out a move, right? So 24.5 points, 0.37%. So it just gives you some idea of what a move is percentage wise. So you don't have to calculate it in your head. And then the other important thing is this magnet mode. You want weak magnet on, okay? What this is gonna help with is if you're drawing a horizontal line and you want it precisely at a level, it's going to like, see how it kind of auto drags my crosshair onto the swing high where I'm targeting to put this line anyway. If you don't have the magnet on, it's literally impossible to like get it exact. So for those of you that care about liquidity, liquidity sweeps, all that type of stuff, specific targets, you need these on. Okay. Then the rest of this stuff obviously is pretty self-explanatory as well. Like I'm trying to think if you want to make drawings and um, write, you can use this eye and hide all of them instead of deleting them. So you can do stuff like that. But overall, pretty simple. Up in the top left as well and the bottom left, you can find the time frames. So it'll have everything one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute. I've never even needed to add anything because it just has everything. So it's very useful in that sense. So with that all being said, I think I covered all the basics. If you guys watch this video, you should be able to basically set up your trading view pretty quickly. Now, there is something where you have to pay to get futures data on Tradeabay. I believe it's about 15 a month for the data and just like the premium plan, which I recommend if you're trading fork out the money. It's going to be worth it for you. But you get live access to futures data, which is what I need because I trade futures. So if you don't trade futures, though, you can still absolutely use this for stock trading and all that stuff. And you can get most of the main benefits for free. But if you want to trade futures, you do have to pay a little extra. Most platforms are going to charge you that. And it's just kind of what you it's the price you got to pay to get good quality, which trading view absolutely is. So if this helped you guys out, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my other videos where today I just talked about how I set up TradingView and how you guys can optimize your start with trading and optimize your experience on TradingView. Well, I also have videos where I actually discuss my strategy, how I make money in the market. And if you're interested in those, I'm going to link my playlist at the end of this video. Check it out. With that being said, make sure to like, sub, all that stuff. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.